right, guys. So we're up here with Mr. Terry Haddock, and he uh, hooked a guy up with a starting line pass. So I got the shirt on too. Um, super excited to be able to go down and watch the Nitro car again. You guys remember, look back from last year. I also got to go down on the starting line thanks to Mr. McKaylin Haddock. Um, so a huge shout out to the Haddock team, and we're trying to save. Get it done. All right, guys. I'm up here. After a 4.30 run that we're pretty happy with, I don't know what that's going to put us in uh, the standings. It doesn't but seem like much, but a 4.30 here is like a yeah. probably 4.05. You're, you're lucky to run a 4.10 here, like that's the going to be running. No holes out. Yeah, no holes out, that time was good. Went straight. Went straight, yeah. Went all the way down the drag. What's up? What are you doing? It happened to the spark plugs. So uh, what what had happened was is if we take these strong guys. Oh please. Okay. What had happens is. I thought it was what happened. What happened was. What happened was, but but it's fixing to happen. So it's what happened. What had happened is. All right. We got some math going on here. So you got this chingus. It goes on the race car and like goes. Wait, 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 wait. That chingus over there? Yeah, it goes on that chingus over there. And it like bolts down or something. I don't really know how it works. Jack it bolts noises. down. Oh, screw those jack cars. Come on now. <laughs> so you got these little chinguses that go in here and they make like, they make like sparks. Like, you know, when you blow up a firework and it goes. They go. Yeah, they go like that. And then I don't really understand how it works, but like fuel and air like come into the motor and then it like explodes. But it's like a controlled explosion until it isn't. But then if it's not a controlled explosion, it goes like boom and costs a lot of money. Really not good. You don't want to do that. So you gotta make sure these things are gapped properly because uh it can cause a uncontrolled boom and cost a lot of money and make you uh make you cry. And broke. And broke, yes. So what uh, happened was well, what happened was, it just kind of, it just, 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 it
By the way, that's still hot. Oh, everything here is insanely hot. So, these are our stands. What we do is we're gonna put them onto the studs on the fly wheel, but we need to actually set the height first. So, what we wanna do is set the height so that way this is five thousandths taller, I'm sorry, fifty thousandths taller than the total height of this entire thing stacked together. So, with that, Johnny already did all the math. So inside, 49.69 is what we're looking for. All right, so that number is the what we're after for the stand height already, because Johnny already did all the math. He already measured every single one of these, added it all together, plus the uh, uh, 50 thousandths gap that we need to have. So that's the number we're going for. So with that said, Special the first one on here. Sixty-nine. That's what we're looking for. I already set it on this little nifty gadget we got that we made. So now, yeah, specifically for the stand stuff. So put it in there. Stand caliper machine. Yeah, patent that. Put her in there and then you tighten her up. That's exactly where it needs to be because I already locked it. We're good to go, right? So now, when 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 we're moving this thing around, these move super easy. So see the holes there. If we do half a hole, I'm sorry, if we do one hole, that's 10,000. So it could be off by that if I accidentally bump it. So when I put it in here, I mark it with a paint pen because it will inevitably, inevitably move a little bit, but then at least I know where I have to go back to, you know? That's where it needs to stay. I'll slide it on the stud. Mark. Like that. So that way, when it's all in the car, it kind of still line it up. Cause see how the, the foot of the stand goes in there. This line could be anywhere, and I won't know. So that's why I do it like that. So we'll do that with all of these first, and we'll do the next step. What are we doing over here? Oh, um, the the saddle bin on the first run, and I kind of had to to make it to make it work for the second run. I think I made it work. It's just a matter of putting it back where it belongs. So they got the car mostly put back together. Terry's doing the blower right now, and then they'll be good to go for tomorrow. What are we? What, what are we eating? Oh, we're having some ice cream, dog. I freaking love ice cream. You can tell. Yeah, but this is way better than we had two cars. Oh boy. Oh boy. He likes the ice cream. Oh yeah. So the current situation is Mikaelin uh bought this said bike. said dirt bike that he said broke. Um and we're pulling it back to his pit from my pit down below. Um with a ratchet strap and a golf cart. What could go wrong? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, sir, I think your blinkers are a bit broken. But I kind of blew it up when I was here for race week, so it doesn't run. You got the golf cart or ratchet strap, and I'm hanging on for dear life. What can go wrong? All right, we got this. Here we go.
starting off here in the truck. Um, had a fun night last night. Went to in and out with my buddy Caden, and uh, we're back up here today. Um, the juniors are up at the Seal Master tent, and I am currently in the truck, getting ready to make our first pass of the day before nitro. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready to give her. Right now. The little crew chief. <laughs> Race at Junior Street. Beautiful little Beautiful little C10 truck. I'm a square body lover. And this thing is just done up right. Before they have their driver's license, they have to have a parent with it's gonna be a street little vehicle. Come out here and start learning the skills. It's a great bridge between the junior graduation leagues and the big cars. And then it's 15 year old Wayne Stark and Ron Sides. That was awesome. It's so good for these young guys to get out here and just do that. That's just awesome. Alrighty guys, we are up here with Mr. McKaylin Haddock and Terry. Terry strapped in the funny car. And we are getting ready to run him. We're pretty quick. Uh, yeah. Here we go again. So we're back here at the pit after a 420, huh? 421. Hell yeah. yes. That was freaking awesome. So we're gonna wait for the car to get back and then it's hands on. Get this thing turned over. We're gonna put Blaine to work. Alrighty guys. So just got done maintenance in the old hot rod and uh good old haddock boys, let me help. <laughs>
Time to put the body on. Get ready to rip. Alrighty, guys. We are up here in the lanes. Get ready to make our second qualifying hit from today. Ready to go fast? We're gonna go fast. Go fast. I want a four. Anywhere between 410, 415 would be. So we have the same tune in last time? I believe it's the same tune. I believe so. I might be wrong. Uh, sometimes Johnny will change the weights on the pressure plate um, with you know, track temp changes. So I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him about it. But last round was good. We were down a hole. But I mean, if we weren't, we were probably at a 410 right there. That would have. I don't know exactly what the field looks like right now, but last one was good enough to get us into fifth uh, qualifying position with a hole out. So. See what we can do. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready to fire the car for a warm up. The Haddock boys were here till 2.30, or no, they got back to the hotel at 2.30 last night. We have till 1.30. I helped them most of the way, probably like 12.30, they stayed another hour. Um, but we're getting ready to fire it up on the new bullet. So here we go.
go. We are in the lanes. Here we go, baby. We're ready to rock and roll. New bullet in this sucker, and uh, well, we're ready to rip. Uh, Terry's getting strapped in right now, and uh, we'll be headed down there. Here You're missing more than a thousand horsepower when those cylinders go out, and the thrust around the golf cart like that fancy pushing car. Well, well, we gave it our all, and uh, sometimes that's all you can do. And uh, dude, we had the worst night we could have last night, and we turned it around and just ran the best run of the weekend. So I'm happy we didn't win, but uh, it's all good, dude. We're still doing the coolest stuff on the planet. <laughs>